Okay, continuing with our HTML Canvas uh, tutorials, uh, and we are HTML5, that is, Canvas tutorials, and we've been drawing lines and paths and rectangles and stuff like that, and today we're going to look at, uh, we looked at how to connect these different paths as uh, so they can be one long path if you'd like, um, but there's different types of line joints uh, that you can join them as. Um, and whether you want a sharp, rounded, or flat uh, joint, uh, you got those three different options. So as always, uh, I've got uh, my web browser up here. I'm using Chrome for most of these tutorials. And I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor. Always feel free to use whatever text editor you prefer. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have the basic HTML code here. Uh, start our JavaScript in line down here. Once again, this is part of a series. If you haven't watched the rest of the series, there should be an annotation on the screen leading to the playlist. I recommend you watch all the videos in the playlist because uh, you might be a little lost if not. But if you're fairly versed with Canvas and you're just looking for um, one or two things, I guess it's okay if you jump ahead. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Let's type in, uh, let's take our context and we will uh, say dot begin path and then we will move to a location so that this is all similar stuff to what we've done in other tutorials so far move to I'll say 100 and I'll say 125 there and context dot and we'll say draw line Two, and remember this is case sensitive and we'll draw a line to 150 and we'll say 75 and then we'll say context dot um, stroke so we've drawn one simple line here if we refresh up here we get our line right there Let's go ahead and give this line context dot line width equals, we'll say 15. Once again, let's finish saving that and then refresh up there. We have one line here, so we're gonna draw another line coming out of that line, so we just need to add, add another context line two and we will draw a line to 200 and we'll say uh, 125 for there. So refresh up there. And as you can see, we have kind of a sharp little angle there. And that's default. That's one of the three different styles of line joints or joining lines. Uh, that's a mitter. And then we also have round and beveled. So we didn't put anything in here for the type of line joint, so it defaulted to that. But if you wanted to specify, uh, we can say context dot uh, line join, uh, and we can say equals mitter. And again, doing that isn't going to change it at all because that's the default anyway. Well, let's go ahead and uh, give it another uh, option here. We'll say. Um, round save that and there we go now you can see it's rounded so oops uh, we'll go let's just comment out this line mitter we get the point there let's increase the size there and if we put it back to round we got rounded and then we have a third option which is bevel so we'll change this to bevel and when I refresh up here you'll see it now goes flat so bevel is kind of a flat uh, round is rounded and mitter which is the default is the pointy uh, joint so that is creating a line joint um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial it's kind of simple kind of review really the only thing we didn't really add much or really anything <laughs> we added line joint, which is something I could have shown you in a previous tutorial, but 
taking things one step at a time. Um, and as always, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. And um, I guess that was pretty quick, so I'll just once again review everything. We have our canvas uh, element up here. We're creating a variable that's looking at that element based on its ID. Uh, then we're looking at the context of that, uh, and we're setting it to 2D. And for right now, just in your mind for these simple tutorials, think of the context kind of like a paintbrush. So we're going to move the paintbrush to a certain, or we're going to say we're going to draw a path, and then we're going to say how thick it is, and then we're going to move that paintbrush to a certain place on the page, and that's where we're going to start drawing. And then we'll, from this point, we're going to draw a line to this point, and then we're going to draw another line to this point, continuing the same little path. And we're just saying how they're joined. So actually, let's let's uh, add in another line here. Uh, we'll say um, let's go 150 here and 250 there or 225 there refresh that and there we have another line there and then we can always go back to our starting point if we want um, by either oops Putting this back to there should get us back. Gets a little diamond shaped here. You notice it isn't uh, linked up properly there. So, um, if you remember a previous tutorial, I showed you how to uh, close objects, uh, close these paths. Uh, and that would be simply, I think we can even completely get rid of this line here. Oops. And I will then put in a uh, context dot close path should work if I'm not mistaken once again I'm new to canvas myself so instead of drawing a line from here to there we just say close and it will actually close our object and of course we can always also fill the object um, so I can say context dot uh, fill style just to review stuff from previous tutorials We'll say uh, blue, and then we'll say context.fill. So the fill style is setting what color we're going to fill it with, and the fill method here is actually going to do the filling. So if we refresh, we now have our little diamond shape. And of course, we can change these bevels to uh, round if we want. And now we have a nice little rounded object there. So, yeah, I added a little bit more to this tutorial. Uh, well, it's all review, but putting things we've learned together uh, and then also adding in that line joint option. So, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As I said earlier, please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.